From planet Earth to the edge of the universe, this is the Planetarium Channel with your host, Max Mars. Hello, planet people. Max Mars here. It's time to rock this solar system. We're going to start with one of the farthest things from the sun, a comet. Haley is our comet expert here. Cool. I'm making a comet, Max, a cold, icy rock, just like the ones that actually orbit the sun. So is that Haley's comet? Yep. Aren't they also called dirty snowballs? That's right. When they get close to the sun, they heat up and sublimate. That's when solid ice goes straight to a gas, not evaporate. That's when liquid goes to a gas. Ready to toss that comet at the audience? Sure, Max. Um, do they know that? You better tell them. All oh, right, forgot. Audience, we need your help. We need to fill this big dome with a comet. When Haley tosses you the comet, catch it and throw it up there, anywhere. Stand up if you'd like. Ready, Haley? All set, go! Quick, toss it up! Keep filling the dome, everybody! You guys! Nice. Awesome! Yeah. Nice job! Look at that huge comet! There are trillions of these frozen boulders in the solar system. Yes, trillions! Today on the Planetarium Channel, we're going to explore not only comets, but also the planets. Even dwarf planets and bizarre moons, asteroids. And the main attraction, the sun. everyone as the Planetarium Channel presents the Solar System Show. Compared to you and me, even the entire Earth, the Solar System is ginormous. But if we step back, way back, thousands of light years Planets become invisible, and the sun becomes a faint star. Just one of billions of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. The number of stars is daunting. To give us a little perspective, we have Logic and Digit, the Planetarium Channel math expert. What you got there, Logic and Digit? Sand in a fishbowl. How many grains of sand are in there? We are talking millions and millions of great sand grains in this fishbowl. That's a lot of sand. But doesn't our galaxy have billions and billions of stars? Exactly. So we ordered more sand. Bring on the sand. Oh, God. Hey, guys. Oh, I got all the sand. Here's really where you want it. Wait a second. Oh, Delivery man. The sand is from Max over in the studio. This is billions with a B. As you may know, our Milky Way is not the only galaxy. There are billions of other galaxies. It is estimated that there are more stars in the entire universe than grains of sand on Earth. Think of all the beaches, deserts, and sandboxes all over the world. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Our place in space? Pretty small, but incredibly special. Nice to be outside. The studio got crowded with all that sand. Time to zero in on the sun. Joining us, we have the sun reporters, Sol Diaz and Nola Tyson. Hey, Max, we're up here. Isn't it gorgeous out here? Check out these big solar panels. They convert the sun's energy into electricity for this cool museum. These solar panels equal the power of thousands of light bulbs. No coal, no wood, just abundant solar power. It's definitely on the rise here and everywhere. So, Nova, Sol, 
What other sun news do you have? Well, we all know to never look at the sun directly because it will hurt our eyes. So we have this big telescope here to project the sunlight onto this white surface. Let's see if our camera can get a closer look. Cool. Amax, like that effect? That's our star up close. We just blasted off into space to show you the sun up close with NASA's awesome solar telescope. All those loops are magnetic fields produced by hot gases rising and slightly cooler gases descending. When these magnetic coils get unstable and snap, whoa, there goes one. These storms spew out a flurry of charged particles. If an explosion is aimed at the Earth, the impact can interrupt TV, radio, and smartphone reception. It can even cause whole cities to go dark. Sunstorms also produce the awesome aurora. This electrical display occurs in the Earth's ionosphere, where the sky turns into space. We live with an amazing star, Max. Back to you in the studio. Time to fill this big dome with some music. We have eight plus one and the sun playing a little song to introduce the planets. Get ready, everyone! Once upon a time, before Earth time, billions of years ago, before dinosaurs roamed our planet, there was a huge nebula cloud of gas dust spinning with the force of a thousand tornadoes. Gravity pulls matter towards its center. Matter builds and builds until finally, bam, a star is born by nuclear fusion. A star that comes to be called the sun. I am Mercury, closest to the sun. Of the eight planets, I'm number one. I'm also the smallest. I hope you'll agree that I'm both as hot and as cool as can be. My name is Venus, but you could call me gorgeous. I'm hotter than a jungle and I don't have any forest behind sun and moon. I'm the third brightest. Too hot for humans, you'll never get invited. Don't feel bad. Everybody go from here. We got full land water and an atmosphere. I'm not as mother nature, but you could call me Earth. I'm where you are now, the planet of your birth. I'm Mars, you should know me. I'm kind of famous. I have volcanoes and canyons, and I'm dangerous, cool, red, and rocky. You could call me a rock star. Four from the sun, I'm not close, but I'm not far. We can't be late, revolve, rotate. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. We all move at a different pace. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. We have birthdays at different rates. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. Planets with an iron rock core. I'm Jupiter, I'm colorful and hard to ignore. But I just planet. I'm a big deal. Under a lot of pressure, yeah, it gets real. I take a lot of room, I got a lot of things. I got a lot of moons, I got a lot of rings. My name is Saturn. I live a fast life. For every day the earth spins, I can do it twice. Bold and bloom, massive than what? I'm so laid back that I roll on my side. You're an instant for me. Try to stay right when I trip around the sun might take your whole life. I'm Neptune, planet number eight. I'll take my time, I'll make you wait. I'm so cold, my air has ice. Try to touch me, my frost will bite. We can't be late, revolve, rotate. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. We all move at a different pace. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. We have birthdays at different rates. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. Traveling through time and space. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. I'm Pluto, I'm tiny, I used to be a planet. People are good me, I really can't stand it. My membership to the solar system was remanded. Recognize me right now, I demand it. We can't be late, revolve, rotate. It's the eight plus one, then we go around the sun. We all move out. 
in space. It's the eight plus one, here we go the sun. Wow, great solar system song. Next, we turn to our Planet Patrol team of Juno and Cosmo. Hey, Max, we're at Space Jam Academy where some students are making a toilet paper solar system. It's true, they're plotting down where the planets would be located on the world of toilet paper, with the Sun at one end and Pluto at the other. On their TP scale, each sheet of toilet paper is 10 million miles long. Let's see where the planets are located on the roll of toilet paper. Like the students figured out, the inner rocky worlds are pretty close to the sun. The outer planets have much more distance between them. There's Jupiter at 48 sheets. Where's Saturn? There it is, 89 sheets. Whoa, Jupiter to Saturn? It's almost as much as the sun to Jupiter. I see Uranus at 178 sheets from the sun. Another big leap. Another long trek to Neptune at 279 sheets. Pluto at 367 sheets. For the toilet paper solar system, this is Cosmo. And Juno. Next up for our older, wiser crowd, we have a VHS tape of V'ger 1977. Put this where? The VCR? Oh, this thing. Hello, V'ger 1977 here. I am robot reporter. My name is from NASA Voyager Missions. My team of robots and I have been to all planets. Prepare for quintessential planet report. Uh, tech people? Can we convert this to full dome? Mercury first. Earth robots, only a few. Size, currently, smallest planet. Fastest planet, 29.4 miles per second. You're so technical, V'ger. V'ger is robot. Not showbox. <laughs> Venus next. Over 20 robots visited here. Slightly smaller than Earth. Venus. Hot. 900 degrees. Atmosphere. Thick CO2. Carbon dioxide. Trapped solar heat. Like greenhouse. Time for Earth? Yes. Third rock from Sun. Thousands of robots in orbit. Space stations. Communication satellites. Study land. Oceans. Air. All needed. Sustains human life. And robot life. Mars. Tiny. Second smallest planet. Busy place for robots. Lots of orbiters. Landers. Rovers. Cameras reveal. Tall mountains. Long deep canyons. Data results indicate water long ago. Where there's water, there could be life? Probability for life. Unknown. Additional evidence needed. Jupiter ahead. Size, huge. A thousand Earths could fit inside here. Robot report, number, climbing. Recent Juno probe, shows swirling storms. Produced by rising heat within, and cold gas at surface. Saturn in view, size, big. Robot report, number, low. Cassini probe, 13 years at Saturn. Features include aurora, hexagon storms at pole. Stunning! Rings, millions of ice boulders, look out. Uranus in view, smaller world, still, four times bigger than Earth. Robot, one, Voyager two in 1986. Surface features, not many. Hubble telescope captured weather storms and faint rings. Who's next? Neptune? Correct. Major found high altitudes wind speeds exceed 1,100 miles per hour. 1.5 times speed of sound. That's supersonic! Pluto last, now dwarf planet, extremely small, only one robot. Pictures reveal vast icy plains, ice mountains, two miles high. Thanks, VG 1977. Cool tour of the planets. Love all the wild features out there. This segment calls for Cam. What's up? Are you all called Cam? That's right, Max. Together, we are Cam. We are the museum's geology lab. 
We're here to report on the small stuff in the solar system. Yeah, you can't overlook the little things. What's going on? I see you're the CAM team. CAM is short for? Comets, <coughs> asteroids, <coughs> meteorites. I'll go first. I'm CCAM for comets. I heard earlier in the show, comets were referred to as dirty snowballs, but some are more like dirty icebergs. They're big, the size of sports stadiums or entire cities. Comet means hairy star because they look hairy or fuzzy in the night sky. They grow two tails as they get close to the sun. One is the rock dust being blown off as the ice is sublimate. The other is a gas tail, which tends to be more blue in color. ACAM here, I study asteroids. Most of these lumpy, potato-shaped rocks hang out between Mars and Jupiter. There are over a million of them. Besides the asteroid belt, there are near-Earth asteroids. We gotta keep our eyes on them. Past Neptune, there's the Kuiper Belt. This debris is made mostly of different ices. Ceres is the biggest asteroid. It's big enough for its gravity to pull itself into a round shape. MCAM's turn, that's me, the expert on meteoroids. Meteoroids are tiny little rocks drifting about in the solar system. Many come from comets. Thanks, CCAM. No problem, MCAM. When the Earth runs into meteoroids, they flash through the sky and become a meteor. Though we often call them shooting or falling stars. If one of these meteoroids is the size of a basketball, it might not burn all the way. And then it could hit the Earth as a meteorite. Do they ever hit people? Once, someone got a big bruise, but was okay. A few cars have been hit. A bomb once in Wisconsin. Don't forget about the big asteroid that didn't the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. And that comet that exploded in Tunguska, Russia, not that long ago. Overall, though, cams aren't that destructive. And big collisions are rare, Max. Don't sweat it. I won't. Thanks for the awesome cam update, Cam. Our pleasure. Cam's got scram. Later, Max. Our show is getting near the end. Wait, what's that mooing sound? Cow astronaut, is that you? Yeah, it's the cow astronaut. Uh, Max, you're so kind of forgot something. What about moons? There are over 300 moons in this solar system. Your show hasn't mentioned one. A talking cow? Yes, just call me Luna. I was the one who jumped over the moon. Now I have new, specially designed rocket thrusters. I can land on the moon, like Neil Armstrong. Look out, drifting to the right a little, kicking up some dust. Okay, engine stop. Contact. Whew, that was close. I was about to turn blue. I'm breathing again. So you said, there are over 300 moons in the solar system? Can you show the audience a few? Sure. On to Mars for two scary moons. No more moo jokes, Luna. Deal? I'll try. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. In your English, they mean fear and terror. Time for a backflip to Jupiter. Giant Jupiter has 69 moons. Here are the four biggest. Io, Europa and Ganymede, and Callisto II. Saturn's system has 61 moons. Some have wild features. Wild moons, Luna? Yes, and there's more, of course. Uranus has 27 moons. Neptune has 14. And even Pluto has five moons. It's a big solar system, Max. So Luna has to keep moving. Okay, 
I give in. That was a moving experience. Oh my gosh, what a cover. I think I've seen it all now, and I'm only 11. Our last report is on exoplanets. We're waiting for our cosmic detective explorer. I think she's late. No, I'm not late, Max. I'm right here. Bright light you got there, X. What you up to? An experiment, a model. This intense lamp is a star, and this is a tiny planet. Now stand over there and look at the bright light, the star. Can you see the planet at all? Nope, see nothing but you, X. Exactly, Max. Exoplanets are very difficult to detect. But with amazing telescopes, especially the ones in space, we can uncover these planets without even seeing them. How? One way is called the transit method. This is when a small planet passes in front of a star and dimmed its bright light by just a little. Sophisticated telescopes record this star dimming and produce this light curve. If this occurs on a regular cycle, then voila! Another exoplanet is discovered. Hmm, so we don't really observe exoplanets. We don't have pictures? Exactly, but astronomer detectives can surmise what they might look like based on the evidence. They know how much a star dims, how long, and how often. With that information, they deduce the exoplanet's mass, whether they're rocky or gas, and their orbit times. But it's still up to our imaginations to envision what they might look like. Any like Earth? With water? And oxygen? We don't know yet, Max. Maybe? One thing we do know is that one day, cosmic investigators will discover the millionth exoplanet. And then the billionth, the trillionth, the quadrillionth, the gazillionth. They're out there, Max. Solar systems galore. I'm out of here, Max. Gotta get back to my telescope. Thanks, X, and all of our solar system reporters. Great job, everybody. Sounds like there's tons more to explore, which means more episodes right here on the Planetarium channel. And thank you, everybody. You've been a great audience. I am Mercury, closest to the sun. Of the eight planets, I'm number one. I'm also the smallest. I hope you'll agree that I'm both as hot and as cool as can be. My name is Venus, but you can call me gorgeous. I'm hotter than a jungle and I don't have any forest behind sun and moon. I'm the third brightest. Too hot for humans, you'll never get invited. Don't feel bad. Everybody go from here. We got food, land, water, and an atmosphere. I'm not as mother nature, but you can call me Earth. I'm where you are now, the planet of your birth. I'm Mars, you should know me. I'm kind of famous. I have volcanoes and canyons, and I'm dangerous. Cool, red, and rocky. You could call me a rock star. Four from the sun, I'm not close, but I'm not far. We can't be late, revolve, rotate. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. We all move at a different pace. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. We have birthdays at different rates. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. Traveling through time and space. It's the A For the iron rock core, I'm Jupiter, I'm colorful and hard to ignore. But I just planned it. I'm a big deal. Under a lot of pressure, yeah, it gets real. I take a lot of room, I got a lot of things. I got a lot of moons, I got a lot of rings. My name is Saturn. I live a fast life. For every day the earth spins, I can do it twice. Bold and bloom, massive and wide. I'm so laid back that I roll on my side. You're in this symphony. Try to say it right when a trip around the sun might take your whole life. I'm Neptune, planet number eight. I'll take my time, I'll make you wait. I'm so cold, my air has ice. Try to touch me, my frost will bite. We can't be late, revolve, rotate. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. We all move at a different pace. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. We have birthdays at different rates. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. Traveling through time and space. It's the A plus one, then we go around the sun. I'm Pluto, I'm tiny, I used to be a planet. People are good to me, I really can't stand it. My membership to the solar system was remaining.